On this example, we're given that a sector of the circle has a central angle of 120 degrees, and we're asked to find the area of the sector if the radius of the circle is 16 centimeters. So just kind of labeling things along the way here on our diagram, this angle going across here, we'll call it theta. We're given that that is in 120 degrees. And then the radius of this circle is 16 centimeters. Now, an important thing for using the formula, and our formula, by the way, is A equals one half times theta times our radius squared. So using that formula, one very important thing to use it is that theta is in radians. Otherwise, we can't really use it. All right, so most of the information is already given to us. Um, one big key step on this, though, is going to be switching from our degree measure over to radians. So to switch from 120 degrees over into radian measure, we're going to have to multiply this by a conversion factor. And this is the conversion factor that relates degrees and radians together. All right, that we know that 180 degrees is the same thing as pi radians. So as we multiply these together, we're going to multiply numerators. 120 pi over 180. And now let's look at our units. So for our units, we had a degrees in the numerator and a degrees in the denominator. So those get to cancel out. So we're left with radian measure that that one didn't have anything to cancel out with. So now that we've converted from degrees to radians, we can actually reduce this down a little bit that 120 and 180 are both multiples of 60. So a little bit easier working with two pi over three radians as opposed to 120 pi over 180. All right, now let's get to plugging in. All right, so for our area, our area be, can be computed by saying 120 times our radian value for theta, which is two pi over three, and then multiplied by our radius, which is 16 centimeters squared. All right, now it's basically a matter of reducing down and doing a little bit of arithmetic. So the first things I'm gonna do is our area can be, um, we can multiply our fractions together by multiplying numerators and multiplying denominators. So we could say two pi as we go one times two pi and then two times three makes six. And then we could also think of this as two copies of 16 centimeters times 16 centimeters, which is gonna give us 256 centimeters squared um, maybe a little bit more reducing down here. We can go ahead and say, well, two pi over six is the same thing as pi over six, or sorry, pi over three, times 256 centimeters squared. I'll visualize that as being up in the numerator, and then we can multiply it by the pi. So we get 256 pi over three times one makes three centimeters squared for the area of our sector that we're trying to compute. Now that's an exact answer. We could put this into our calculator perhaps if we wanted to find an approximate answer. All right, hope this helps outlining how to walk through the steps and where everyone gets tripped up is they get that uh, degree measure for their angle. They forget to switch it over to radians. That's why we started by doing that and then plugged into the formula. All right, good luck to you. See ya.